We promised we'll show you how to do this, and now we're gonna get our hands stuck in, cut a bit of furniture up, and show you just how it can house a plant that will be entirely happy. Okay guys, so what we're gonna need is the following. A bit of shade cloth, and a staple gun, and if you don't have a staple gun, a hammer and some small tacking nails, not too big, or else it really is gonna split the wood on the chair. And to start off with, I'm just gonna place it on the edge of the chair, making sure that I've got a nice deep cavity here where the plants are going to live. And all this is going to be is just to hold it. So make sure that you're checking out your levels here. And then all we're gonna do is take the staple gun and just staple it to the edges. Don't be tempted to cut it before you've stapled it, or else you might end up being too short, then you've got to rip it all out and start all over again. Right, this is where you can cut a pair of scissors and just cut along the edge of where you've placed the staples. Okay, obviously, the shade cloth has holes in it, so that's not gonna be able to hold enough moisture. So what I've got for that is a little bit of weed guard, exactly the same. Put that in there, so I've almost got a double layer now to hold all my plant material. And do the same thing, staple it on. Nice and secure, and exactly the same process. Cut away the excess weed guard to neaten it off. And remember, we're only cutting this off now after we've stapled it. Radio, we've got one seat with one times little cavity. Make sure before you do anything that you just cut a few holes in the bottom of it. And obviously that's for extra drainage. Water will drain through the weed guard, as it does when you're using it to put underneath pebbles. But remember, we want to make sure that there's gonna be ample and sufficient drainage here for these plants. So I'm just poking one or two holes in it. All right, folks, so I've got my bits and pieces together. Now, don't be afraid about what you can plant inside here. And I'll give you a tip. If you're hanging around your garden scent and you're looking for plants to use, hang out near the seedling section and where those plants that are bought in little four packs. Because in that way, you know that those plants are going to be ample sufficient to go in here. And the other most important thing is decide where your chair is going to be. Is it going to be in the full sun or in the semi-shade or in full shade? This little chair of mine is going to end up in the full sun. So first up, I've got some potting soil, which I've already added bone meal to and an organic pelletalized fertilizer because that is going to give this guy everything that it needs to get going. So, a couple of spadefuls in here. Remember, we're not gonna fill it all the way to the top. And my most important plant that I want to use in here is a geranium. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of geraniums. However, I just couldn't resist this one. It's a little ivy leaf geranium. The leaf looks exactly like that of an ivy. It's a trailing geranium. Um, it's a single flowered, and generally, in my opinion, the single flowered ones are a whole lot more tougher than the double flowered ones. So as long as it's got full sun, a well-drained soil, this little guy is gonna be as happy as Larry. So out he comes, and I'm gonna pop him right, just nick, tuck it right into the back of my chair over here. And then I want a bit of gray, because gray always makes other colors stand out so beautifully. What I've got here is a little ground cover called Cerastium tormentosum, or it's called the silver carpet. Now this gets a little white flower. Those of you who live in very cold areas of South Africa where you get frost, this baby is a favorite. Great in rockeries, beautiful in hanging baskets, or just on the edges of beds. Right, let's open up these roots a bit. There we go. And I'm gonna pop them right on the edge here because I want it to do just that. I want that cascading look right over the edge. Next up, I've got this lovely little blue brachycomb and the blue is just gonna pick up with the grays and the pinks and I'm gonna pop that little baby in right here. Now this little brachycomb loves growing in the full sun. It's also got a bit of a cascading habit. Take a spade full of your mixture, pop it in and then use the back of your trowel to make sure that you firm it into all of the little air gaps that might have been there. 
All right. And then I found these little guys in my garden. I love the fact that they've got a bit of a stalk. It's a little Echeveria. And I'm going to pop it in just for a bit of contrast and texture. Ooh, yummy. That looks gorgeous. And let's pop one in over here. So it's got that kind of hanging look already. Oh, and there we have one times Victorian planted chair rejuvenated just for you. Thank you.